It's your girl T the ball had a baddie with the fatty and I'm here today to bring y'all another freaking video Y'all when I don't be posting a video even though I just posted a video yesterday I be missing y'all okay like we close we we here we family and I be missing y'all but your girl just got off of work my hair look rough and I'm about to wash it and try to style it because when I'm at work I have to wear a wig and the little wig cap is messing up my hair and I want to look nice when I'm home too so I'm about to fix it so then I'm gonna wash my dog and then I'm gonna get to fixing dinner cuz I'm trying to eat good I like to eat good so I'm gonna wash my hair I might show y'all me styling my hair we're gonna see cuz it might be an epic fail I might get a little frustrated cuz I don't have the patience for all of that right so I just do my hair and I just sit there right and then me try to do something and I know that sound kind of sad, but that's the truth. So I'm going to wash my hair real quick, and I'm going to come back to y'all either when I'm finished with the style or while I'm styling it, okay? All right, y'all. So I'm done. I have styled it and everything. You know, I got the little point thing going on. What y'all think? This my look, ain't it? No, I'm just kidding, y'all. I finished washing it, and now I'm about to style it. So wish me luck because I really don't be having the patience. But I'm going to see y'all once I finish with the style hopefully it come out like i wanted to be but hey if not i'm gonna still make sure it look cute hey y'all so first of all look i'm about to tell y'all what's up real quick i'm about to tell y'all what's up so my mom she ended up working a long shift today and i was trying the plan was to make this ZD. i hope i'm saying it right i don't know and then um go surprise her with at work i wanted to make some garlic bread and a cookie brown but um she just not feeling it and she, she i don't think she like what was in the mood for me to bring it you know to her to work by talking to her i could tell so it's about 10 30 and your girl is freaking starving i got off work and i was supposed to fix it around eight o'clock but your girl was tired i ended up going to sleep on and all and i just could not stay up for nothing but I'm starving, so I'm about to make it right now. Um, I have finished drying. I had to let it dry, so I'm gonna let y'all see how I look. I hope y'all like it. I hope y'all like it. Yeah, like I said, your girl want to be popping at home too, so I had to fix it. Like it was all sticking up and stuff, and it was just driving me crazy because I like to look cute. Now it's time for your girl to get her eyebrows done, so hopefully I can get them done um, Sunday or Monday, cause. Ooh, them things need to be done and if you a female you get your eyebrows started if you wait too long so I already hurt a little bit but if you wait too long you let like the hair grow back grow back that's the more that makes the pain more worse and I'm not trying to be sitting there because I have I forgot which eyebrow it is one eyebrow be okay but I have one eyebrow that's more sensitive than the other one and whoo does it drive me crazy like i try not to tear when the lady threatened my eyebrow but like when i open my eye I automatically tear because it just hurt especially when they get that look which the people that's throwing your eyebrow get that little curve woo baby it hurt so i'm gonna go out i'm gonna start off by boiling my noodles and i'm gonna show y'all like you know me cooking it and stuff because i'm starving and this ain't where it's at so i'm gonna see y'all when i start fixing this meal because it's about to be yummy in my tummy you know what i'm saying and if y'all watch my channel you know your love your girl loves to eat like food i love food especially soul food seafood all that food period if it's good i love freaking food all right y'all see the girl got her noodles over here boiling they almost done i had to add some more water to it because you know the noodles when you, every time you boiling them 
They suck up the freaking water. My sauce is over here cooking. Looking all good. And I'm just waiting on these two to finish so I can start um, mixing the stuff together. Mixing it with the cheese so I can put it in the oven. This sauce smells so good, y'all. I can't wait. Fun fact, this recipe didn't even call for sausage, honestly, but I didn't want to have a big ziti. I hope I'm saying it right, I don't know. But I didn't want to have it without um having no freaking meat in it because it's similar to spaghetti and I like meat in my spaghetti, so I want to meat in my ziti too. So yeah, y'all, it smells so good. I seasoned it, put some onions in it and stuff. I'm just waiting for it to finish. Gonna have some garlic bread too, but I ain't doing that until this is finished. Cause you know garlic bread don't take long to bake at all. But yeah, since I'm adding the meat to it, I'm kind of following the recipe, but kind of creating my own at the same time. So I hope it turned out good and I like it. But we gonna see. I might need to cut this meat up just a little teeny bit smaller because I got a few big hunks in here and I don't want to be that big. But um. I'm going to continue to cook this and I'm going to see y'all. I can't see y'all. I just want to do that. I'm going to see y'all um, when I'm on to the next step. On to the next step. Alright y'all. So my sausage is finished. Yeah. It looks yummy, yummy. And then I'm about to clean my noodles over here. And then I'm going to start um, combining the noodles, the meat and the cheese together. So I'll be right back once I finish doing that. And the sausage tastes so freaking good. I cannot wait. Then it's time to do this garlic bread. And then it's time for the freaking dessert. Alright y'all. So stuff's starting to get real. I'm actually supposed to. I clean my noodles. I'm supposed to have some water in it from what they say. So I'm just going to add this water to it. They also want me to put my cheese in there. My tomato sauce. And like I said I added the meat on my own. So I got to go get that. I'm going to set this camera up. And I'll be right back. Right here. I'm so excited y'all I love cooking and like just to cook new things and find new recipes it's getting your girl excited so I'm gonna get my sausage up in here this sausage smells so freaking good hopefully there's enough meat up in here to cook I feel like it will be but we're gonna see I'm gonna eat this tonight and then I'm gonna have some tomorrow before I go to work and I'm excited Put my hand in the soup. She's in the kitchen. What? What? I'm whipping in the kitchen. What? What? I'm whipping in the kitchen. Alright. <laughs> so I'm going to get some of my cheese. I'm going to get my tomato sauce. Green beans, tomatoes, tomatoes, lamb, lamb, oh, oh, green beans, tomatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, chicken, you name it. <laughs> I played too much, y'all. So me, I use ragu um, flavored with meat, um, mar mar marinara sauce. I hope it's real good. We're going to see. I'm going to mix that all up in here with this. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. All right, y'all see that? Now I'm about to add the cheese. So let me go get the cheese out the fridge, and your girl gonna be right back. I'm using mozzarella, reduced fat, two percent, and six Italian cheese blend. So I'm gonna mix. Some of this in the cheese, I mean I said the cheese, in the ziti real quick. And then the rest I'm going to just have on the top. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here so it can mix in there. A little bit more. Hopefully I got enough cheese. But if not, we're going to make it do do. Because I like my stuff at cheese. Let me make sure I'm doing everything that it tell me doing the phone. Uh-huh. Big cover loose and foil. Then brown. Yup. Y'all, next I'm thinking about because your girl really like chopstick, right? 
So next I'm considering um what should I put? They ain't tell me to put the oven on. I'm ready to just put on 400. Yeah, I'm putting on 400. Because the oven should be actually heating up right now because I'm about to add it right in the oven. Um, what was I saying to y'all? Your girl really like chopped steak. That's what I was saying. And I go to this place in Richmond, Virginia. If you like soul food, Mr. B's. My bro put me on, so bro, if you're watching this, thank you for putting me on. But that chop stay good and all. But me personally, since I'm a little picky, I think it can have a, a few more like spices and stuff in it, in my honest opinion, if I'm getting my honest opinion. So I wanna like attempt to make chop steak because I used to go to this place called uh, Piccadilly and they closed. <laughs> they're not in Richmond no more. They might be somewhere else. I just know they're not in Richmond. But yeah, like I'm saying, I used to go there and their liver and onions is good, but also their chopped steak was to freaking die for, okay? And um, I miss it, so I'm going to try to make my own because I keep on going to Mr. B's and spending that money. And I'm realizing like all this eating all this stuff that I'm doing, why not freaking um, make my own stuff? It saves you money, you know, you get more. So instead of just having one serving, I probably had two or three servings to where I'm paying for, you know, to keep eating out. I be thinking about that stuff. All right, y'all see, I wanna see how this look. I'm excited, y'all, look at that. Can you see? Shoot, you know, I'm ready to camera because I want y'all to see this. Y'all, look at this. I am so freaking excited. So I'm waiting on the oven to pre finish preheating. And then I am going to stick it in there. I got to put foil on it. So matter of fact, let me go get my foil because knowing me, if I don't get it now, I'm going to forget. And that's a no-no because I don't want my cheese to be sitting there all brown and stuff. I want it to look nice, okay? I want it to look nice. And then to me, maybe I'm mucho loco. But when the cheese is brown, it don't taste right. So I'm going to go get this foil. I did forget something that the recipe called for. I gotta put freaking basil in here. It might be too late. I should have did it. I'm gonna just put it on the top for right now and then just mix it in there later. I should have put the basil in there. I ain't gonna put too much on there. If I put a little bit, I just put it on the top. But that's what I forgot the freaking basil. How I forget the basil? How you do that, T? Now I'm put the oil back on here. I got too excited. All right. I just need one more piece. Make sure everything covers real good. So it's saying this should only take 20 minutes to make. It really don't seem like it took that long. But also I need to look and see how long it's telling me that I should leave it in the oven for because I really didn't even see them instructions. Okay, bake cover loosely in foil for 20 minutes, then brown the cheese by broiling it on half for one or two minutes uncovered. So I don't want to boil the cheese in my honest opinion, so I'm not doing it. So once this oven finished preheating, I'm gonna um, put it in there, set the timer for 20 minutes. Towards when it get, <clears throat> I'm gonna check it, and towards when it get, I say about five minutes left, I'm gonna stick the freaking, what am I trying to say? The garlic bread up in the oven with it, cause the garlic bread don't take long to cook. And um, then after I finish with the garlic bread, I'm gonna put the brownie on the side of the garlic bread, that's all right. So um, I'm gonna see y'all when I, Get the garlic bread straight and start making the cookie brownie mix. I see a girl in here. I'm trying to hold the camera and mix this. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. In here mixing the brownie mix. I don't know how this gonna work. But yeah, I'm in here mixing this brownie mix. Like they told me. Gotta follow instructions if you want some good brownie mix, y'all. 
this is my problem maybe like add a certain amount of water and vegetable oil but i always feel like you need a little more than what they say because it be looking a little um thick and you don't want it like thick thick like this a teeny bit more because that's always my problem so they can mix really good some of them mix is still at the freaking bottom Yum yum y'all. Sorry if I'm moving the camera too much. I'm trying to record this and let y'all see it in. And now I'm going to clean down my pan just a little bit because it's been sitting. And I just like to do this every time something's sitting there and just have a mess with now. I just like to clean and make sure it's good. You know? That's all. Wash it off. Wash it off. Wash it off. How was y'all day to day? Alright y'all, so that's good. Now I'm going to go get my freaking um what am I trying to say? I'm gonna go get my freaking um vegetable oil. Where I put it at? I just had it. Oh, Alright y'all, so I'm going to add the brownie and I'm going to come back when I start it. Um, I'm going to add the brownie to the pan. I'm going to come back when I start it. Feel, uh, what's wrong with me? Mixing the cookie. Um, don't mix together. Alright y'all, so time for the cookie mix. Now they said this one is going to be stiff. So, this one stiff that time. Them chocolate chips in here smell delicious. Oh, yeah, it is. Very. Very. Look, y'all. Mm. All right, so here go the cookie brownie mix. It told me to put it in the cookies in the brownie just like this. So that's what I did. And your girl about to add it to the oven. And then I got two more minutes on my ziti. So my ziti about to come out. Put this at the top. I kind of feel like I should have put foil on it, but I'm going to just watch it closely. And there go the timer. Telling me that that ziti about to come out. And we're going to see how it look, y'all. I am excited. Very, very, very freaking excited, y'all. I'll probably cook something else for Sunday. Um, I don't know what I'm going to fix yet, but y'all stay in tune. Because either it's going to be up Sunday or Monday. But I've been trying to come with these videos for y'all. And I've been trying to keep y'all entertained by doing different stuff and not doing the same old stuff. And I have a video that I want to do Saturday. Hopefully plans work out. And I can do it. If not, that's going to kind of suck. But if plans work out and I do it, y'all stay tuned for that video. Because that video is going to be real fun. I cannot wait. Alright y'all, so that go to Big ZD. I just put it out not too long ago. And then we still got the cookie brownie mix in there going on. And then I just did the garlic um, toast. Texas toast in there. We're going to wait for that to finish. And then it's time to freaking crush, which is my favorite, you know, thing. You cook the meal, then you get to eat it and crush. And trust me, I might be small, but I be crushing. And I eat a lot, and I sure do love to eat. So once all this finished, you know, of course, I got to show y'all freaking um, 
video i gotta start the video again to show y'all what the plate look like because this is about to be good so i'm gonna see y'all once everything finished and i didn't got everything straight on the plate all right y'all so my cookie brownie just finished it look good i can't wait to eat it and now we're just waiting on the freaking garlic bread which it look like it's almost done it need to get a little more brown but i don't want it to get too brown I can't wait to try it and I can't wait to see my mom face because I want her to have a good dinner since she had a long day at work. She freaking deserve it because she the best mom that somebody that a, a daughter could ever ask for. Like that's my best friend. She my whole heart. So I just wanted to make her some good and make her night a little special. Even though it's 12 something is late. But at least she go go to sleep with, you know, a full belly. So when you see this, I love you mom to pass the morning back. You mean so much to me and i hope you like this food all right y'all so the food is finished it look yummy look at that garlic bread you can't have baked ziti lasagna spaghetti without freaking having garlic bread on the side because that makes everything yummy so i'm gonna let my mom rate this food and i'll see y'all when she rate it all right so here you go let's see what she think about it mm -hmm. scale of one to ten 20. Okay. Then next Sunday dinner, y'all. So make sure y'all tune in for that video. Did you have a good night? Because I know you had a long day at work. Yes. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So that's the end of this video. If y'all want me to make more cooking videos, then make sure y'all comment down below. Thank y'all for all y'all support. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure if you watch it, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you on here. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.